Hello, Taurus. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. We're going to be doing your weekly general reading now for the week of June 20th, 2021. Okay, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Cards for Taurus for this week. Excuse me. Cards for Taurus. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay. Wow. You got some reading going on here. Whoa. So you start out with the Five of Pentacles. I, well, this is walking away from a situation because you don't feel like you are welcome. You know, there's this church. The lights are on, as you can see, and the stained glass window with the Five Pentacles. The lights are on, but they're choosing to stay outside in the cold, injured, you know, barefoot in the snow. Not even just, you know, walking away, but barefoot. But <laughs> the walking away is not a bad thing because in this case, it turns out you're actually walking to something much better. This is a happy fi uh, family, a happy home life. So, um, and then you have the Four of Swords, which is uh, meditating, taking some time to, uh, you know, take a break. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering. That's such a giant leap. I mean... You go from feeling left out in the cold to the Ten of Pentacles to the to the Four of Swords where you're, you know, meditating. I feel like there's, it's out of order. We're, we're definitely needing to fill some gaps here <laughs> because it's like, what? So give us some more clarity for Taurus, please, for this week. Clarity for Taurus. Okay. Clarity for Taurus. Any more cards for Taurus? Huh. Wow. So I asked for clarity and this is what I got. This is what you got. You got the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. Now, the Ace of Swords is a win. This is a great opportunity. The chariot is movement, not physical, but mental movement. So this to me says that there was an opportunity. You know, you didn't feel like you belonged where you were anyway. So there was an opportunity. You took it, you moved forward, which would bring you to your Ten of Cups. So nothing wrong with that, right? Because you got had an opportunity and why not move forward? So let's see, but it's a mental moving forward, not a physical moving forward, because there's no reins, like I said, in this picture. So give me some clarity on the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, some more clarity. Huh. So... I asked for clarity, like I said, the Ten of Pentacles to the to the Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. So this to me is, the, well, not to me, Jerry, it's the Nine of Wands, Nine of Rods. And this means you're in the eye of the storm. It's going to get worse before it gets better. But this to me is, he's already been through this before, so you know what to expect. You're prepared. Um, so although this is wonderful, I kind of feel like this actually was probably really from the, the Five of Pentacles because it makes a little bit more sense to me then. If you've been through it, you've had a rough time, and you're expecting the worst, but you're prepared. You're patient. You know, you know it's going to take some time. Um, there's going to be some uh, disagreements here, but you're going to work hard at this. So this is you changing. To me, it sounds like you're changing relationships. 
Um, this could be love, even though there is no cups here because the way it comes out here with the Ten of Cups could be changing relationships. But with this card, this could be an opportunity that you can't pass up, but you need to be patient and work nicely with them um, in publishing. I say that because the Ace of Swords can be a publishing win. So maybe, you know, you started something and now, you know, bam, there's this opportunity. You're a little, you know, scared. So you're, you know that you could have this Ten of Cups, but you're, you're, you know, meditating on it, figuring out how to do it, you know, because maybe you've had some really bad experiences. Sorry to make a laugh. And so now you're learning to be patient, you know. You're prepared for the, the fight that might ensue to get what you want. And you're willing to put in the hard work. Happy to. He's smiling. So, is there anything else that, whoa, that Taurus needs to know? Oh, that's too many cards. <laughs> I was like, wow. Like, way too many. A nice, clear ending, maybe? Tell us more. For Taurus. So. Tell us more. For Taurus. Anything else? Okay. We might just move on to the spellcasting oracle cards. That was it. They're just telling you to be patient. Be prepared. It's not going to be easy. But you can do this. There's going to be a win. Okay. Let's see, let's see here. Card for Taurus for their weekly general reading. <sighs> Protection. To me, it's reiterating the nine of rods. He is ready. He's got the nine rods. He's got the eight rods lined up. He's got one in his hand. He's bandaged. He's ready to go. He's got his gloves on to protect his hands. You know, He's walked away from what, you know, he just didn't feel like he belonged. Just wasn't a welcoming situation. Walking towards the Ten of Cups and meditating to make sure he knows what he's doing, to getting it right. And he gets that offer. And things are moving forward. He's ready, but he's being patient no matter what comes. The protection, I believe, is for you. Protect you and whatever you're working on. And I say working on because with the nine of rods, it's going to, it could get the worse. And with the five of rods implies arguments and things like that. The temperance says you have to be patient and just keep working at it. So I think this is talking about protection. So do whatever you feel comfortable with to help provide your protection. That's what I feel like saying. She does have the world in her arms and she's trying to give it a big old hug and her heart chakra is very lit up. And there's also a butterfly, which is a symbol of transformation. So this could be about you transforming more into you, the person you want to be. So, which would be very filling, fulfilling, sorry. Thank you very much for being here. Taurus, if you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the reading or it resonates, please subscribe and uh, share. Thank you. Bye.